Hey guys, in today's video, I will introduce you to the new conforming 3ds Max. So let's start by creating a cylinder. Let's use it as a base to start in work. Let's adjust the values here. This is good. I'm going to add a taper. We add a curve here in the middle of the model and thin the tip a little. Ok, now let's apply some noise. To make the shape a little irregular. We change some parameters, very simple, ok? Now I'm going to insert some loops around the edges so that the top doesn't look right. We add the collapse and finally segments on the edges. We add open subvids and we already have a base something like a truck. I'm going to change the color, that is it. Now let's create a new object. I will create a circle, make it bigger than the object. Let's enable the preview. I will change it to rectangle. Let's convert it to editable poly. I'm just going to work with this face. Let's apply detach. We delete this part. I will change the color to make it easy for us to see. Ok, now I'm going to add some loops in the middle of the shape. So when we apply the conform modifier, this part of the model deforms according to the base geometry. Let's add the conform. In target, we go to pick object and select the truck. Now here in the method, we will change it to shrink wrap. Here you can see that it's already working and acting according to the surface of the model. As you can see when it is above the model, it's returning to a cylindrical shape and when it is. Let's say walking around the model's body, it acts correctly. We don't need to change any of these parameters, everything is already correctly. Now, to give thickness to this object, we apply the shell modifier. Let's increase the value of other amounts to give thickness. I will use the value of 0.4 and in segments the value of 2 to create this loop on the edge. We add open subdivide modifier. And here we have everything working correctly. Well, we can explore this modifier in a few ways. If you want to create bands that are intertwined with this object, with conform it's much easy. You just need to create some copies, holding shift we create copies. And now you just change the value in the shell modifier. The hardest value, the thickness, the tape will be thus overlapping the other. Let's change this 0.5 and here we already have this rainbow overlapping. Let's do the same on this. I'm going to change it to 0.5, this on 0.6 and this last one we don't change. Now for you rotate the rainbow to give a more realistic appearance, just return to the editable poly modifier to visualize the cylinder and rotate. Remember to always make this shape larger than the base shape. We return here and we see that this tape is overlapping the other. Here we can increase the thickness a little with the shell. I will just then out. And here we have the three tapes where each one has its own overlap. This was something that will take more time to do and with this modifier, it will make it easy to create of the type of the details. I hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time, bye, subscribe to the channel, it's very important.